And many kids are heading back to school, as they just mentioned, after years of COVID restrictions. I sat down with a group of elementary and middle school students to get a personal look into how they feel about returning to the classroom. These kids have big dreams. Meet 11 year old Renee going into sixth grade. I want to be an astronaut because I find it fun how you can just like, maybe it's hard, but like going out to space and making new discoveries. 10 year old Jennifer going into fifth grade. I want to be a teacher. I want to help other students. 10 year old Claudia also going into fifth grade. I want to be a zoologist. Ooh, yeah, cool. Or like a professional softball player. Nine year old Lamb going into fourth grade. Same thing as Claudia, but instead of softball, maybe baseball or another sport. And 10 year old Amari going into fifth grade. I want to be a stranger because sometimes I always go to galas and I sing. But in the here and now, excitement for the upcoming school year, all of them saying they're looking forward to being with friends and meeting their new teacher after the pandemic. Have you felt isolated the past couple years just doing remote learning? Yeah, it's been really hard. Yeah, how so? It's because like, if you're in like distant learning, you can't really see like, like their full body and like you can't really like, like do a project with them in person. What did you miss about not being able to see someone's whole body or being in the room with them? Honestly, just not giving them, be able to give them a hug, just talking to them. When it comes to their fears, again, a unanimous answer. Just scared about getting bad grades and like failing. For the grades, we just hope to get good ones. So grades are the number one thing for you? Yeah. So all of you say the same thing. All of you are scared about getting bad grades and getting a strict teacher. Yeah. 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 For sure. <laughs> what kind of pressure do you face? Um, the pressure would be, it's just the fear of disappointing your parents because you know they want good for you, but it's kind of hard. That, like You want to be acknowledged all the time. You want to be confident, but it's hard and difficult. If I get bad grades, I feel like my parents are going to be really disappointed and like they think that I won't be good enough to like go to other colleges. Are any of your parents immigrants? Did they come from another country? Uh -huh. yep. um, yeah. Came from All of them? Uh, yeah. yeah. All of them. Do you think that that makes a difference? Do you think that you have more pressure on you because your parents sacrificed something in a different country and now it's up to you to get the good grades and get the good job and go to the good school? Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know it's kind of basic to wish for good grades, but like it's just maybe there's just like this pressure that just goes on because of your parents and you know, oh, they work so hard or they sacrificed a lot, but it's hard to live up to people's expectations. Do you guys hear a lot about shootings at school and violence yes. at school? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 It scares me so much. much. On the news, I see it all the time uh, about school shootings, normal shootings. Yeah. I just, I get, I get really scared because like, I just hope it doesn't happen to my school. I get kind of nervous to like, go outside of the classroom because anything could happen anytime at all. Even though you know it's a drill, it just feels so like, um, traumatizing. They told me they don't care about politics, don't pay attention to adults fighting about what should be taught in school and what books they should read. And although they have devices for media and calls, they aren't that active on social media. I feel like sometimes I would like go on TikTok and post like a video and sometimes like years later when I see that video again, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Do you feel like you ever exposed to anything you shouldn't be exposed to on TikTok or no? Yeah, sometimes, but like you just usually like look away for it or just like scroll. Like I don't want to look at whatever that is. But it must be tempting. Sometimes it's like, oh, I want to know about it, but I shouldn't be looking at this. And a feeling we can all relate to the need to just be heard and understood. Sometimes you think that they're listening, but sometimes they're really not. And it just feels like nobody really listens to me at all. I think sometimes respect doesn't really come from age, sometimes just from the person itself and how their personality is and how they talk to you, you know? Yeah, you wanna be treated with respect. Like, be on an equal level. I wish adults knew that. Like, if we're going something that they have to understand what we're going through and not just like say something that they only think. So like listen to you more? It's like understand what we're saying. And they were so adorable and so smart They're, and they had such mature discussions. So articulate in yes. their thoughts. And you know, I, I think there is this big push now too to, to talk more about your feelings. And I see that in the younger generation. 
a lot, which is so good, but I do think there can be a disconnect between the parents and kids. We were raised very differently mm -hmm. than this generation. Um, so it'll be interesting to see as they get older, hopefully they find that connection with their parent and have some of that understanding. Yeah, and it's such a pivotal age, yeah. these kids. So it'll be really interesting to see where they up, end up, but they're very motivated. They're very concerned about academics and concerned about you know doing right by their parents. <laughs> So, good kids. Yeah, really good kids. <laughs> we have a lot of back to school stories for you this morning. At 8 o'clock, back to school shopping deals. Christine Lazar has tips to help you save. And then at 9, our go-to girlfriend, Sadie Murray, shows us more of the must-have items to put on your back to school shopping list. Then at 10, we talk to a Google expert about the trends and top searches as students return to class. Wow, so much. A lot so much going to learn. On. Yes. <laughs>